Oh, well, I'm creative and I actually happen to be one of the only premier watch dealers in the country. I mean, if you need a, a particular watch, I can source for you. I have an yeah. extensive network. And We're joined by uh, Paulo Coelho uh, to share uh, a bit about his side hustle, uh, you know, that allows him to bring in uh, some extra cash outside of his uh, eight to five grind. So whether you're looking to pay off some debt, save up for uh, a big purchase or just have a little fun while earning some extra cash, stay tuned as we, of course, uh, find what he does uh, and uh, how he juggles uh, between the two. Paulo, welcome. Thank you for having me, man. I'm excited to be here. It's really good to meet you. I've been seeing you around. I've yeah, seen you we've around. Seen each other a couple um, of times. Yeah. So officially, officially, officially pleased to uh, meet you. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Before we actually get into, you know, what you do um, as a side hustle, uh, what does your day to day look like? What is your eight to five grind? My eight to five is marketing, comes and PR for a state owned entity here. So I'm I'm quite busy in the marketing space yeah. and advertising and branding. Okay. Awesome stuff. So um, of course, getting into a side hustle is absolutely no brainer because you would need uh, you wouldn't need basically well, a uh, level of sales a level and, of sales uh, and marketing experience I get yeah yes. well, all right so let's get right into it what do you what do you what do you do for a side hustle well my side hustle is actually a passion of mine it's horology but no one really knows what horology is so it's yeah. um, it's <laughs> I trade in time I, I sell uh, sell by trade high-end luxury time pieces it's a okay. it's a very niche market mm -hmm. um, something that I've always been passionate about I've always loved watches I I, I judge people by by their wrists yeah um, you can see someone wearing a, a well pluckies Havaianas and yeah. shorts but you'll be wearing <laughs> like a, a nice AP or a Roly um, so I, I deal in watches. I, I yeah. have a passion for watches and, you know, the heritage, how they're made. Give an example. I picked up a, a Rolex Sea Dweller. It's a, sure. it's, a, it's a very thicker watch. It's, it's used for diving. Yeah. This watch was produced in 1984, and I took it into the Rolex service center in South Africa to get it serviced, and we put it on the machine, and the service center guy s said to me, this watch is yeah. beating within frequency. It doesn't need a service. Yeah. From 1984. So, you know, as Patek always says, you don't really own a watch. You're yeah. just holding it for the next generation. <laughs> I like that. So when did you start with, with, with the side hustle and uh, how is it going? And also in terms of uh, the demand. Uh, well, okay, let's start with uh, starting. I started probably full time in 2020 where yeah. I decided to actually register an entity and, and dive in. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was just, you know, one here, one there, you know, whatever I could get at what price. It's, it's, it's a simple buy low, sell high strategy or, or consignment models that I offer clients. Sure. Demand is, is, is weaning in a Maybe it's not a it's not a big market share. You have mm -hmm. your, your few you know major clients that want to invest in these things. Mm. That's one thing I always tell people: uh, uh, certain watches are, are an investment. Yeah. Let me give you perspective. You're buying an Audi A3, sure, 1.2 million for the new one. If you add extras, you're at 1.4, 1.5 easily. You drive it out of the lot onto yeah. Tal Street past KFC. What are you selling that car for? You've already lost 40%, right? Yeah, yeah. You buy the right model AP, Automas mm -hmm. PK, what all the rappers wear, an app, uh, a Pate Philippe, a Vetron Constantine, or Rolex, I will double your money within a year. Oh, if wow. need be. Some, some models appreciate in value yeah. simply because of the scarcity model that um, major brands do. Mm. Put you give you more perspective, Rolex only makes a million watches per year and that's yeah. across the range. So from ladies to sports to dress watches, yeah. Pate Philippe only makes 60,000 and they're still trying to fill orders from three, four years ago. Yeah. So if you walk into any AD, we don't have an AD, uh, authorized dealer in Namibia, we don't have one anymore so you can get a brand new Rolex for me or a second hand one instantly. Yeah. Um, if you walk into an authorized dealer for Patek, AP or Rolex, you're waiting anyway from three to five years depending on the model yeah so i mean if i can get you one today i can but then obviously the price difference is is tremendous yeah so, so also given your 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 day-to-day -day job I'm, I'm actually eager to find out how you promote this business and and what has been the the greatest strategy my biggest strategy is, is word of mouth because it's a it's a high-end product yeah um i mark it on instagram but i don't make sales on instagram so you can follow me on the watch guy nam on instagram i have some really nice reels where i educate people on on actual watches and you know the function and how they're made it's not just something you wear it's something that sure. you can can last for it'll last you for a lifetime yeah. um in terms of marketing it's mostly word of mouth and whatsapp whatsapp yeah. business um and then i i do mark a little bit online i i use a uh, seo so search engine optimization mm -hmm. um and i do some some sponsored posts but um i think for this type of market the, the let's put it this way the guy who buys a rolex is not watching tv mm. uh, and he's not sitting on instagram so mm. i have to always try and find these people and then you know talk to them so i've got a good reputation 
uh, word of mouth is, has worked for me. And yeah. I've got a good reputation in the sense that um, I literally WhatsApped a client a photo of a watch he wanted. I said the price and he immediately sent me money. Yeah. And I said, but, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, Tio, you, you didn't see the watch. No, I trust you, Paolo. So <laughs> awesome. uh, it's, it's building a good reputation, obviously. Let me take you back a, a few steps uh, to basically around, you know, you telling us about your side hustle. You decided to venture in uh, luxury watches. Um, why is that? Is there a reason why you chose watches? Um, is it your love for them? <laughs> love. Yeah. I, I, you know what? It all started out when I was much younger and yeah. um, my mom had a, a small guest house so and she catered pre predominantly to Angolans. Yeah. And back then, Angolans always used to come with these wads of, of, of cash, US dollars. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Fala, yeah. fala. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all thought at one point Luanda was empty because Mr. Price here was full. <laughs> um, and, you know, they'd always have nice watches and you'd always just check like, wow, he's wearing a Breitling or he's wearing this uh, uh, yeah. this model and I got into it as in it's it, it for me it has always been a woman women have jewelry men don't yeah. have a lot of jewelry we can wear yeah. so you you invest in a decent watch mm. and a watch that will last you a lifetime that you can then you know pass on to your kids or something that like I said to you earlier before we started you have milestone watches yeah I mean, one of my first watches I still have, I have a, 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 my whole collection, was mm. a G-Shock. This is yeah. all I could afford when I was a student, and I, I've yeah. kept it. Uh, with one of my first salaries when I was still working at Trusco, I bought a, a Tissot Vizio Date uh, Heritage Edition for 5K. Okay. I still have that. Um, okay. You know, the things that happen in your life, you buy a watch that you celebrate as a milestone. You know, when, you're when your son turns 21, you give yeah. him something. Uh, yeah. So watches for me is just always, it's, it's always linked to something. Time is a luxury. Why not yeah. invest in it? And what do you think sets you apart or your venture apart from other luxury watches oh well i'm creative and i actually happen to be one of the only premier watch dealers in the country i mean if you need a, a particular watch i can source for you i have an yeah. extensive network and we yeah. have no ad's in this country so it's not like you can just walk into a shop and buy a patek philippe a, a mm. breitling omega tag hoya a chrono swiss mm. um but hey pow pow can get you one i'm mm. your plug and your your latest uh, transaction or your uh, latest sale basically uh, oh, how did yeah, that go down tell you, that was a, that was a <laughs> tricky one actually so a yeah. client uh, client um well it was a consignment model so i didn't buy the watch yeah. um, he offered me a, a rolex explorer 39 a 36 millimeter it's, okay. a, it's a quite a unique watch it's not mm. very sought after mm. um and then i presented it to another client a client who said okay i'll take the watch and then i'm like okay cool seller my, my buyer is ready uh, can i get the watch oh yeah. sorry paulo i'm in kuwait yeah. I moved here. I'm wow. like, you didn't think to tell me. So, and then my other client was like, he needed the watch in the UK. Uh -huh. So I had to broker a deal on a watch that is not in my hands oh, between goodness. Kuwait to the UK yeah. um, through Faith and uh, um, DHL. Yeah. Um, and DHL was a, a nervous risk for me because they don't insure the, 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 full, the full price of what the watch costs. Yeah. Um, but it made it to client uh, um, successfully. Money Thankfully. was paid over to, to yeah. the seller and um, it was a successful deal with the watch not even touching my hands. Yeah. Also, just uh, looking at, um, you know, words or advice that you would like to share with uh, our listener currently right now who is probably uh, thinking about uh, venturing into a uh, side hustle while they've got an 8 to 5. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult if yeah, you've no, got it, an 8 to 5. So it's going to be difficult. What advice but do you have? First for of all, it has to be something that you're passionate about, something that you love. And I'm going to say this. It was said to me by, by the first publicly listed billionaire in this country, uh, yeah. Quentin von Ryan. Your salary will never make you rich. You yeah. need to diversify and you need yeah. to try and do things and if it's something that you enjoy, then why not? I mean, if you mm. can do it as a side hustle and grow your business steadily and then turn it into a full-time thing, mm -hmm. which I'm planning to do within the next three to five, my goal is to have a small retail shop where you can sure. actually walk in, try on watches you like. We can order for you. Also, I also sell accessories, so rubber straps, uh, okay. um, cases, leather case bags, winders, yeah. you know, because some yeah. rich people don't have time to set their watches, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. So that's, that's my goal, but I mean, I'm going to get there as soon as, you know, the economy picks up, the country picks up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't stop chasing your dream. Have your side hustle. If it brings you a little bit of extra money, I, I like to call it baskets. One basket should speak into another basket. So mm. one of my other side hustles is a social media marketing agency that I have, mm. and I have that cover my expenses at home. So that will cover the domestic costs, the Wi-Fi, the electricity. So taxable expenses, but, sure. you know, one entity covers one thing to free up some money for another thing. Uh, yeah. And that's how it goes. That's how it should be. I would have loved to talk uh, a whole lot more with you, but uh, kindly share with us uh, some of your socials. Uh, are you on social media? Do you have yeah, a I'm on Instagram at the watch guy Nam. Yeah. I'm just scrolling between each word. Uh, it's easy. Just type in the watch guy and you'll yeah. find me. Um, that's it. I only, I only, I prefer Instagram because uh, someone once told me that our mothers are all on Facebook, so I've moved. <laughs> to Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Paulo Coelho, thank you so much for taking our time to talk to us and we wish you all the best with your... Thanks for having me. ...with your 8 to 5 and your side hustle. All right. All of them. <laughs>
99 FM, your inspiration station. It's been this side hustle here on 99 FM.